Welcome to Excel and Finance video number 38. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Chapter 5, just click on the link below the video and be sure to scroll down to the Finance class section. Hey, in this video, we have some cash flow for an annuity details. A loan amount that's coming into our pocket. Here's our monthly payment. And we know our total number of periods given years and number of compounding periods. We want to figure out both the APR and the EAR. First, we want to calculate uh, our period rate. And the way we do that is rate. The rate function can do that. NPER, we haven't calculated it explicitly, so we take N, number of compounding periods per year, which is 12 times years. The PMT, it's going to be negative because we're paying this loan back. The present value, it's going to be positive because it comes into our pocket. Future value, we don't have any lump sum amount at the end. We don't, uh, we're going to do end annuity or ordinary annuity, so we can leave that out and we don't need to put a guess. So simply enter. Now that's formatting, that's a really unrounded number, so I'm going to come up here and increase the decimals something like that. So our APR, this is our period rate. The definition of APR is period rate times number of periods. So we simply say equals period rate times number of periods. So that's our APR. Now we can figure out our effective annual rate. We can use the effect function here and have no problem because the number of compounding periods is an integer as we mentioned in earlier videos. So I'm simply going to say, hey, APR, or also called nominal rate, NPER 12, and enter. If you want to get fancy or check it, one equals 1 plus our period rate uh, raised to the 12 minus 1, or number of compounding periods. All right, so from some cash flow numbers and knowing the number of periods we could figure out both APR using the rate function or the to get our period rate and the effect function. All right, see you next video.